Hello all you little slenders and today I'm going to teach you how to download a mod for a Windows or 7 Windows 7 or Windows 8 laptop. Now for all you people who have a Windows 7 or 8 laptop, know how difficult it is to find the right video to download a mod. Because it's just so freaking hard. I can't figure out how to do it, but my friend finally figured out how to do it and he taught me. And now my little slenders I'm going to teach you. So first thing we want to do is go to your browser, Google Chrome, Math.com, whatever you use. And then you want to go to a special little magic site that I like to call Skydash. So you click on it, and I'll put the link in the description below if you don't want to go searching for it on Google. And here you can get mods, texture packs, and maps. Now, texture texture packs and maps I'll be able to teach you another day but today it's just mods get over it so as you can see we've got mods here the other mods sports mods pretty cool mods and over there is some really weird stuff <laughs> Ooh. anyway so you can search for the mod or find it here so you'll be looking around for mod and when you finally find it you just click on it and it'll take you to page mutant bio mod installer for minecraft 1.5.2 and this is the mod i want to download so i'll be downloading it and it'll show you a couple of videos so you can learn what to do how to do it on the mod so what you want to do is you want to come here to where it says downloads and there's three here and the one you want to pick is the middle one download here dot zip so you click on it and it'll take you to add spot don't press any button Wait, and wait, and wait, and there we go, and we'll skip add, and it'll be downloading down here, and it's done, so we click open, and here it shows the mutant file mod installer, but unfortunately this is a zip file, so we click it, and we click the application, not the application extension. Make sure to look at the type. Click that. Click extract all. Doesn't matter where you set the destination, it'll be in your downloads. And you extract. And here it is. Now I'm going to delete the other file because we don't need it anymore. It's a zip file. So here's what we extracted from it, which will be in our downloads. We click there. And there will be two here, and you click again, application, not the extension. It'll look like red building blocks. Click that. And since I'm recording right now, it won't let me download it. But basically, what I did is I downloaded the mod. And this is how you install it to your Minecraft. So you'll click on it, it'll show a pop up, and you click install mod. It'll ask you if you want backup for your Minecraft, and you say yes. And it'll take a minute. And then installs the mod, and what to do, you've got a mod on your Minecraft. But never do this while your Minecraft is open. So, I've already got some mods on my uh, Minecraft, and I want to get them off. I want to go on multiplayer, but this server won't let me get mods. So what do I do? You go to Options, you click Force Update, and Done. And what will happen is, it will clear off all the mods of your Minecraft, and you can go back to your files, go to downloads, and just reinstall the mods. It is literally a blessing. Thank you Skydash, and thank you Little Slenders for watching. I hope you learned from this experience, and I'll see you later Slenders.